Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, and today I'm going to cover a particular topic which should hopefully be over and done relatively soon. It's only going to be a brief lesson, uh, but it's an incredibly powerful one, and it's going to get us into the world of the hands and the importance of the hands. Okay, so the lesson today is going to be in regards to having your hands on show versus having your hands concealed and what effect that might have on the world around you, okay? So if you like what I do, and you want to keep in touch, and you want to continue listening to these lessons, and understand how your body works, how other people's body works, and learn how to read minds essentially, and learn a new superpower, please click the subscribe button, okay? Thank you. Okay, so historically, we used to walk on all fours, all right? Our ancestors used to walk on all fours. Now, during the process of evolution, we then started to walk bipedal, and that means we were able to walk on our feet. So we learned how to walk upright at a stage in our evolution. Just as we do now, we started to walk on our feet. So what happened is when we went from all fours to a bipedal stage of walking, so when we were able to walk upright, is our hands became weapons. We were able to wield weaponry and we were able to utilize our hands as a very um, powerful force in conflict and aggression. All right, so Further down the line of our evolution, our brains needed to um, develop and adapt as a way to defend ourselves against the new potential threat. Now, this is just another survival mechanism we developed over the years, um, but surely a beneficial one as we needed to solve the problem of the new potential threat at hand, which were the hands and what they could be utilized for so to this very day we have in our brain in our primitive brain a section that caters to paying very close attention to the hands of others all right which links into so many really important and interesting facts regarding the hands and how we treat them uh, which i'm gonna have to throw in a whole bunch of new videos because i won't be able to cover everything right now uh, but to give you an example the palms of the hands are an incredibly powerful tool in making friends and showing people that you're of no harm purely is the palms are what we hold things with so if we expose the palms of our hands we show that we're no threat to others and that's why the wave is such a popular form of greeting if you wave to someone it's purely friendly. Why wouldn't it be friendly? You're not holding any weaponry. You do, you haven't got a clenched fist. You're exposing the palm of your hands to say I'm safe and I am not in any way aggressive towards you. Okay? So meditate on that for a bit. I think that's something very interesting and um, we just don't get told this information. So if you look at great public speakers, what they tend to do is they tend to illustrate their words and what they're saying with their hands to really drive it in because they know that we are paying attention to the hands as well as hearing the words, all right? So they utilize that body language in our you know, primitive hardwiring as a source of good to build rapport and build a better connection. And we can do that, so... If you were to go for a job interview or if you have someone in particular you want to please, make it your best interest to expose your hands in clear view throughout your conversation for a start. And if you want to go the extra mile, expose your palms, go out of your way to show that you are open, comfortable and in no way aggressive. Expose your palms, okay? The very worst thing you can do is conceal your hands because we are, generally speaking, people who don't know this information or how it works, people will feel uncomfortable around you if you have your hands concealed. There's going to be an inkling at the back of their mind feeling uncomfortable around you that they can't place their finger on. It's going to be their intuition telling them. It's going to be their survival instinct telling them there's something iffy here, we don't feel comfortable. So, have your hands out if you want to make feel, people feel comfortable. Expose your palms if you want to make people feel comfortable. Okay? 
Very important. Very important indeed. Um, when you're speaking to an individual and their hands go in their pockets in regards to a particular thought they've had or the topic of conversation has changed, that's a sign that the individual has got defensive and has pulled back, all right? So it's not a great position to be communicating in. You want the hands out, you want the palms exposed, and it's very, very important, okay? So obviously you can't go around the world telling everybody to do this. But what you can do is you can pay attention to how you interact and ensure that you have your hands on show, all right? So I think what I'm going to go into next is the handshake and the meaning behind that uh, because that does interlink with uh, the topic of today. But as of always, thank you very much for showing me your attention and care. I do really appreciate it. Uh, drop me a subscribe, keep in touch. Keep following the videos. Uh, I assure you, you are going to learn some incredibly beneficial and applicable information, uh, broadly applicable to this world we live in. All right? People are going to wonder, how do you know? How do you know what I was thinking? How do you know what I was feeling? How do you know I was lying? How do you know I was blah de blah de blah All right? So if you want to be that person who can read minds, click subscribe, keep in touch. That's everyday superpower. Signing out. Goodbye.